Hey everyone, Miss Bork7 here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I color my drawings. So, get your color pencils or whatever color utensils you use for coloring, and we'll get started. Alright, when I first start coloring my drawings, the first thing I like to do is get a specific color, whatever your pony's mane is or whatever. Get the color and color it gently in one direction, all in one direction. See, as I'm coloring, I'm coloring it all in the same direction. I'm not coloring it like this and then going off in a different direction. You know, you want to color the whole spot the same direction. It prevents from having like odd patterns of coloring as you're doing this, so it it won't make it it won't mess up your coloring as you're coloring your drawing. And then the next thing I'd like to do is start coloring it in a different direction. Since we since I color it like this, I I will, I'm gonna start coloring it in this direction now. The purpose of doing this is to start making it going darker. You see how it's all light here? How we cut it up and down here? And as I'm cutting it in a different direction, it starts to get a little darker. Remember, make it go all in one direction. Oh, and by the way, the pony that you're seeing here is my OC, by the way. <laughs> Cover it all in one direction. Okay, next thing what you want to do is you want to add a highlight. That's the thing I like to do next. After this, after doing this, you want to add the highlight next. And the way I like to do it is um, pick a spot. It can be from the right or from the left. I'm gonna choose the left side. Imagine sunlight coming in this direction. You want to. Take a pencil from the eraser and just start and pick a spot where you want to put the highlight and just start dabbing away a little bit of the color. Just like that. And then the next thing I'd like to do after this is I I take the pencil that you or the color pencil that you're coloring with. And I like to start doing like dab lines like this. I just make it go off quickly in the in one direction. And that's how I like to add like detailings on the mains. I just give it a quick dab. Note that when you're doing this, don't go over the spot where you put the highlight at. Leave that spot blank. I just give it dabs like this. And make sure that when you're doing this, it goes with your pony's mane. I'll probably do like other tutorial videos on like curly manes or spiky manes. Um, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do videos like that in the future. Just like this. And you want to do it on this side as well. Just like this. This is how I approach my coloring. You, another tip when it comes to coloring is you always want to start from light. You never start dark. Because as you start light, you start adding more and more color and detail and you can pick out spots where to add shading for instance like how I did this part of the ear I stitched I colored all lifers and then I started going a little darker and then as I got more darker I started adding all these shades you see here and then you just just make sure you go with your pony's mane when you're adding coloring like this you never want to 
like go straight like this and then you start going off in a different direction it won't make your coloring come out as satisfying as you want remember leave this highlight blank like that but what you do want to do is color the bottom part like this because since the light is deflecting in this direction it's not going to deflect any light on the bottom part of the main here this part you really want to make it dark to give it pop same thing for this part and the little spike up here as well Remember, this is a video just showing you how I color. You don't. This is not a video of, of a tutorial on how to draw this pony here on, on my OC. It's just a little tutorial video on how I'm showing you how I color. Next, I'm gonna do this part right here. Same thing, just go with the, the, I'm just going with the, the direction of my OC's main. And I'm just giving them some dabbing lines. Just like that. Oh, whoops. Just note that when you do dark lines like this, it gives it, it shows that there's strands of hair that have shadow in them. When you do dark lines like that, it shows that it has, that some strands have shadow and some don't. Just like that. Oh, I forgot this little spot here. Try not to go too dark though. The only spots that should be dark are the spots where it's on the opposite end. Because like I said, since the light is reflecting in this direction, you just color the, the edges parts here. I color the edge parts here dark. Because the light doesn't deflect on that part. Kind of need some more dark here. like that another thing I like to do when it comes to doing this is I take if I can find the right size of my markers I like to take a marker because since my pony OC's mane is black I just take a marker like this one and I add some few few more lines with a marker Oh no, don't tell me this marker's dying out. <sighs> that marker was dying out, everyone. <laughs> I didn't realize that marker was dying out so much. Oh, it started dying out. I guess I used it for a lot of my joints. <laughs> but yeah, I like taking the marker afterwards and I just start adding even a little more darker lines like this just like that and then I add more over here when it comes to adding detailing of like hair manes for your ponies or whatever it doesn't necessarily have to have like really perfect lines you know because I mean if you look at actual people's hairs you know like like long hair spiky hair in real life not the all the hair doesn't look all symmetrical so you don't need to worry about like it might cutting or making the lines perfect or whatever it's, it doesn't have to be perfect
remember and also that applies when it comes when you're drawing you, you just steady work at it it's never going to come out perfect on the first go just keep practicing and practicing and you'll get it just right with enough practice like me when I was first start, starting out on drawing I, I had I didn't know how to draw at all but I kept working at it and working at it and this is how I am today now what, now what I do when it comes to this part of the highlight what I like to do is just add a little little light color into it because since this main is black and when light hits the color black it makes it into a lighter color so in this case it will look kind of like a little grayish from here it's like that <laughs> sorry if you guys can hear a lot of birds chirping in the background um, we're a bird family here so we love having birds around But anyways, um, the last thing I'd like to do when I finish coloring my my pony's manes like this, I take a white color pencil and I just color over the black. The purpose of doing this, in my perspective, is it gives the color a smoothing effect. See how it, it smoothens the color on the highlight part here? That's why I use the color pen, the white color pencil to do this, and I really enjoy doing this. I've been doing it for all the drawings that I've done so far, and I'll keep doing more drawings in the future. Just a little more. Well, there you have it everyone a quick video of me showing you uh, my cutting process um, hope you found this useful in any way uh, hopefully you learned something from this um, but if you did don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed it um, let me uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below to, so, to let me know what you thought of this uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already uh, I have a link for that in the description below. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That'll let me know if you guys want to see more of these type of videos. But again, hope you found this video useful. And I'll see you in my next one.